Hello, welcome to our channel where we are presenting uh, lessons in mathematics. So in this presentation, we continue dealing with the transformation. And I must mention that this is second presentation and uh, translation. Okay, so we just want to deal with the, an example, alright? We are saying triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A1, B1, C1 by translation. Find the column vector. Okay, where is this triangle? The triangle is here. Okay, so you have triangle ABC that is mapped onto A1, B1, and C1. Alright? So, let's find the translation vector. So, by translation vector, we are saying by what size has this um, has this uh, triangle moved? Alright? So, when you look at this, you can check here the movement of b2 to b1 here you have got because from there to there it is 2 so you have got 2 4 6 8 look at a 2 4 6 8 c 2 4 6 8 so with regard to the x axis we have x is equal to 8 all right so for for a our answers here for a they are saying column vector vector uh, or translation vector is equal to we are saying for with regard to the x-axis we have got it two four six eight all right so you are going to say x is eight how about y so if you are dealing with b you are going to say two four six eight all right you realize that with y we have not made any movement all right so y is zero here so y is e, zero. So this is the translation vector. Okay. That is the translation e vector. That is the translation e vector. Okay. Then uh, we go to, to, to B. So before you even go to B, you can even check C. C you have got 2, 4, 6, 8. But you don't make any movement along the y-axis. It means y is zero. Right? Let's look at uh, B. Describe fully the single transformation which maps triangle ABC, which maps this triangle onto triangle A1, B1, and C1. Okay? So, in an event that we are not even given the first question, in an event that this question was not given, this was the only question. You needed to acknowledge the kind of transformation that will have taken place here. Alright? So you are able to see that from this point to that point, this is the translation because uh, this object has moved from here onto a new position. But the dimensions are the same. When you look at the positioning of the triangle is the same. The angles are the same. So there's just a change in position from this position to another position. So you are going to say, for you to describe food, we are not saying you write an essay. You just acknowledge that it is a translation. So you say it is, um, it is, it is translation. All right. Then give it the translation vector. What is the translation vector? We've already found the translation vector to be. So we say translation vector or column vector is eight uh, and eight comma zero. All right. That one is it. done. Okay. So we are going to go to C. What is C? Triangle APC is mapped onto triangle A2, B2, and C2. Describe the single transformation which maps triangle ABC onto triangle A2, B2, and C2. So let's look at triangle ABC and triangle A2, B2, and C2. So we have got this triangle onto this one. What kind of transformation has taken place here? All right. We are able to see that this, this object has moved from here onto this one. In a straight line, the dimensions are the same. It means this one is a translation. All right? So you are going to say it is a translation. You are going to say it is a what? A translation. All right? Translation. Two, you must give a translation vector. For you to describe food, you need to give a translation vector or column vector. So now, how do we do that? You are going to look at A and A2. 
Now, have you made any movement along the x-axis for you to find A2? No, because you're in the same line. Alright? A and A2 are coinciding. So, it means we have not made any movement along the x-axis. Hence, x is 0. So, we are going to have 0. How about, okay, let's say translation vector is equal to, we are saying x is 0. How about y? So, you must move from here now, not until you meet A. Alright, you are going to say 2, 4, 6. Now, because you are going upwards, so it will be positive. So, it will be positive 6. This is your translation vector. That is your translation vector. Alright? We go to D. What is D? So, D. What is D? We are saying triangle ABC is mapped onto triangle A3, B3, C3 by translation. Find the translation vector. So, we must look at A, B, C, A2, I mean, uh, A3, B3, and C3. Where are these triangles? Okay. Where are these triangles? Okay, there's another triangle here. Okay. So, yeah, this triangle is mapped onto this triangle by a translation. Can we find the translation vector? Simple. You can just look at A, maybe, and its image. Or C and its image. So, C is here. So, I must begin to move either to the left or to the right, not until I meet C. Alright? So, you, if you start going to the, to the right hand side, you will not find C. So, you have to move to the left. So, you are going to say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. At this point, 10 steps to the left, uh, I will coincide with the C3. Alright? But because you are going to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the left hand side, so, the value of x will be negative. Meaning that, the translation vector shall be negative. We are saying 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it will be negative 10. Alright? Negative 10. But now, you have to move from this point, not until you meet the, the image. So you are going to say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 again. So it's 10. But because you are going downwards, it will be negative 10. Alright? It will be negative, negative 10. So that is the answer. Alright? That is the answer. Alternatively, you can say, um, you can say, image is equal to object plus translation vector. Alright? So I can pick one of the images here. Maybe C3. What is 3, 3? Uh, C3. Negative 8, comma, negative 4. So you're going to say negative 8, comma, negative 4. Okay? What is its object? We go to, to C here. It is 2, comma, 6. 2, comma, 6. Plus translation vector. Alright? So now, how do you find the, this translation vector? Say negative 8, negative 4, minus 2, 6. Is equal to translation, translation vector. So, what is the negative 8 minus 2? Negative 10. Alright? Negative 4 minus um, 6, negative 10. This is what we are going to have. And this is our translation vector. This is our translation vector. Okay? That is our translation vector. That's another way of getting it. Okay? That's another way of getting it. Okay. So that was the D. Then we go to E. E. We are saying triangle PQR is mapped onto P1, Q1, R1 with a translation vector 1, negative 2. Can we draw and label this triangle? Okay. So why is our triangle? This one, PQR. The translation vector 1 comma negative 2 meaning that from each point you'll be making one step to the to the right then two steps downwards so for p you're going to say because from there up to there it is two so here one step means half of it so you're going to say one two three four five this is where p1 is supposed to be p1 all right and take note 
it's a one step one step to the right and two steps downwards so first you're supposed to say here one two three four five that is one step one huh? then two steps downwards check here two steps downwards so from here you're going to say two because half of it is one so two is here so this is where your p should be so p1 here right then again with this one it's one st one step to the right you're going to say one two three four five that is one then two steps here uh this is r1 take note it's r1 so this one becomes the p1 okay this one one step to the to the right one two three four five well that is where one is the two steps downwards it will take you here so this is your q1 all right then you join join with your ruler there join with your ruler so that's where uh, that's supposed to be okay attentively you can say image is equal to object plus translation vector all right so what is our image the one we want to want, want to find maybe for p1 what is p1 all right we'll say what is the object for p1 negative 6 comma 8 plus what is our translation vector when you check here our translation vector is 1 comma negative 2 one negative two all right so what is our p1 this is negative five uh, and what six which is the same as negative five comma six when you plot here so when you plot here this is four and that is five half of it uh, this is six half of it is five comma what comma six it will take you here all right negative five comma six it is negative five here, six is there. If you want for for q1, you're going to say q1 is equal to what is this object? What are the coordinates for q? Negative four comma eight. Negative four comma eight. Plus the translation vector is one over one and negative two. So q1 is going to be here when you add you get negative three. Here when you add you get the, six so negative three comma six so you come here this is the negative two this is negative four negative three is here comma negative six that's where it's going to take you repeating that process you find that error will be at that point so that's how you get these things so you need to know how to identify the translation and how to describe okay so that's how we end for this presentation uh, but uh, i'm going to give you an exercise okay Okay, so you can copy that one. Okay, try. And I'll give you another one. Okay, so even this one, you can attempt. Thank you so much.